Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. You've been asking for a cooking video, so we're going to do a cooking video. We're going to be cooking some quail today. We're going to be making quail marsala. Very similar to like a chicken marsala, but we're going to be using quail. So, um, I've got some things already kind of mixed up just to kind of save some time so you didn't have to see me mix it all up. Uh, I'll just kind of run through how this is going to work. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy, honestly. Um, but this is uh, what I've got here is um, some flour for dredging. This is about a half a cup of flour. Um, I, I added to it uh, some salt, some pepper, probably about a teaspoon, eh, probably closer to a teaspoon and a half of salt, about a teaspoon of black pepper, um, somewhere around uh, two tablespoons of oregano, and probably close to about a tablespoon and a half, somewhere around there, of garlic. Just uh, a garlic powder. I use, actually use granulated garlic. Just season your flour until it tastes good. Tastes good. Kind of heavy on the garlic, but I like it heavy on the garlic. So, taste your flour, season it until it tastes good. But that's kind of what I used. I've got flour all over my shirt. I just realized that. Black shirt, it shows up. So we've got uh, seven quail here. I've cut the meat off the breast. So we've just got the breast here, 14 individual quail breasts. And I'm going to be start with dredging those in this flour. And then we're going to be cooking them, just, just browning them basically in the skillet over here in some olive oil and some butter. So let me get the skillet hot, let it you know, get up to temp, probably about medium high temperature, somewhere right around in there is what we need. And then uh, we'll get to cooking. Before we do that, I completely forgot the other ingredients. I got about half of a yellow onion all sliced up right here. Um, I don't think that's a traditional ingredient in chicken marsala or quail marsala in this instance, but um, I mean, it, it adds flavor. So we're gonna be using that. And then we've got 16 ounces of uh, sliced up mushrooms right here. I don't know if I'll use all of those or not. Probably close to 10 ounces of them, somewhere right around in there more than likely. Uh, we've got about three quarters of a cup of marsala wine that we're gonna be using to deglaze. And then we'll be using about a half a cup of heavy cream to help thicken up the sauce and make it a little bit creamier because I kind of like a creamy sauce like that. So, um, and then there's some avocados here, but that has nothing to do with that. They're just stored right there. So just ignore the avocados on the side there. Um, I've got a pot of boiling or a pot of water right here. I'm going to be serving this over spaghetti and uh, with some garlic bread. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, let me get the skillet all heated up. We're going to dredge these quail. I'll show you the, basically, I guess we can go ahead and do that. So I've got the breasts, the individual breasts. I'm just going to plop them in this container right here. Probably, I don't know, maybe get four of them at a time, five of them at a time. Yeah, probably six of them at a time, actually. Something like that. Six of them at a time. You could do this in a Ziploc bag if you wanted to. Just shake them around, get them all coated with the flour. And then uh, that's really all I'm looking to do at this point is get them just kind of lightly coated with the flour and then remove them out of here. So let me get this done with the rest of them, and then I'll bring you in when the skillet's hot and we're ready to actually start doing some cooking. All right, so my skillet is hot. Actually, I got it a little too hot. I kind of browned the butter a little bit, but that's gonna be okay. That shouldn't bother it. What I've got in here is just about two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil, and uh, we'll be adding our quail right into this. Let those guys get browned on each side. That is the goal here. We're not trying to cook these all the way through. We just want to get them browned all the way around. And let's see if I can get them all in here at one time. This is going to be actually a fairly full skillet. You could probably do this with a few less birds and be just fine. I just want to make sure there's leftovers. Ow, burn my finger. Okay, so um, I need to go wash this plate up real quick because I'm going to be putting the quail back on this plate here in a few minutes. I'll be right back. And that's what we're looking for. These have gotten a little hot on my skill. I didn't turn it down. Just a little. They're kind of, they're actually cooking a little faster than I want them to. Just looking to get them, them browned, basically. So they've been probably going for, I don't know, two, three minutes, something like that. Won't take much longer. We'll just get them to do the same thing on the other side, brown them on the other side. Another two or three minutes. And those got a little more done than I wanted to. Kind of burned just a little bit, but that's okay. We'll manage. I got my, I don't cook on this side of the stove very often. And it's a different kind of burner. So I'm not used to the temperature on it, but like I said, it'll be all right. These will work out. 
So th these two right here, especially, maybe this one too, a little overdone, but that's okay. It'll soften up because we're going to be letting these saute basically in some uh, sauce for quite a while to finish up. So another two minutes or so on the other side, just to get them brown, and then I'm going to be removing those from the pan. All right, so these are all browned on both sides now. That's all we're looking for is a good golden brown. Um, I don't know how well you can see that on film, but they are browned. That's it. We're not looking to cook them through at this point, just browning. That's all we need. That could use another minute. That's done. Now I'm going to remove these out of the pan and put them to the side. That can use a little bit longer. That could use a little bit longer. The ones out at the side didn't get quite as brown. All right, so now in go my onions. And I'm just going to cook these down until they kind of soften up a lot. This will take, uh, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes, maybe something like that. I always see on TV where they're, or on recipes, they're always like, cook onions till they're soft about two minutes. And well, no, it takes longer than two minutes. The onions take a little while. So these will take four or five minutes to kind of cook down, get soft. And then uh, at the next stage, we're going to just be adding in our mushrooms. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. These onions are softened up quite a bit. They're going to cook a little longer, so we can go ahead and add our mushrooms at this point. So I'm probably going to add, oh, that looks about right. Something like that, I don't know. And just let these kind of cook down for a little while. Let them get to where they kind of release all their, I'm going to need a little bit more of my skillet's getting kind of dry. So I'm going to add two more tablespoons of butter to it. Butter is going to help with the uh, sauce, make it nice. I mean, we've got some olive oil in there, but the butter is going to help quite a bit and make it a uh, nice, smooth sauce. So we'll just let that butter melt in there. All right, so these mushrooms are going to take a good five or six minutes or something like that to get good and cooked down. Just I want to cook them until looks like I need to turn my heat up just a little bit. I got this figured out finally. But um, I need to cook them until they're kind of they're nice and soft. They've released their juice, you know, their moisture, that kind of stuff. Um, I'll, we'll be back in a few minutes. There's no sense in like letting this roll for five minutes. Just stir them occasionally. I'm trying to get this butter melted right now, so it you know I have plenty of uh, liquid in the pan. Um, but that that should work just fine. So just stir them occasionally. They'll cook down. They'll you'll know. Um, I'll come back in a few minutes when that's done. All right, so those are looking pretty good. That probably took, um, I don't know, it's 10 minutes, maybe something like that. I let them cook down. You can let them cook down as much as you want to, but they're looking pretty good to me right now. So now we're going to go in with our wine, our Masala wine. I'm just going to pour that directly in. I don't have a whole lot stuck to the bottom of the skillet, but I want to stir that around a little bit. Kick the camera, sorry about that. Make sure we scrape up anything up off the bottom. That should be good. I'm also going to go in at this point with a couple tablespoons, maybe a tablespoon or two of some minced garlic. Yeah, I don't uh, mm, love minced garlic. I don't use, I, I use the store-bought minced garlic uh, for this. You can mince your own, you can do whatever you want to with that. But about a tablespoon maybe uh, to however much garlic you like with that. All right, so we want to bring that up to a boil. Let me get that heated up just a little bit more, let that start bubbling. And then we're ready to add our quail back in. So just add it back. Let it sit in that sauce. It smells pretty good already. Reduce this down to a simmer. And then we're going to add 
kind of lid to it and let that just simmer for about 15 minutes or so probably. Somewhere around 15, maybe 20 minutes, something like that. It's not incredibly important. It's not going to go too terribly long. Uh, you just don't want to boil your sauce away. So you want to make sure it's reduced down. You put your lid on there and uh, let that just go for, you know, I'm going to give it 15 minutes. We'll check and see how it is. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes or so. And yeah, it's looking pretty good now. So I'm going to remove the lid. I'm going to kick this heat up just a little bit, get this boiling good or get it bubbling real good. Probably around medium, medium high, something like that. I want it to uh, reduce this sauce just a little bit more. I'm going to be adding some heavy cream to it. Uh, where's my tongs? Now this sauce is going to be a little bit thin if you want it a lot thicker. Um, you could, before you add the wine, make a little bit of a roux with some flour and you could use the oil in the pan, cook that down for you know, a minute or two uh, to get the flour taste, you know, cooked flour, not raw flour, and then add your wine to it, and that'll help. You can also make this recipe without the wine. You could do this with just chicken stock in place of wine. Um, you can do, you can leave the heavy cream out. You could stop right here. You could do this however, you know, there's lots of different ways that you could do this. I've made it plenty of times with using just chicken stock and no wine or heavy cream, and it's really good that way, too. It's the same process. Um, it's just not as a, it's not an Italian meal necessarily that way, and I usually serve it that way with some uh, uh, mashed potatoes or something. So I'm going to add about half a cup, probably, of heavy cream to this, and uh, stir that around. Let that come back up to a boil and then let it cook for just a few minutes and reduce down just a little bit. All right, I'll let that go for about three or four minutes or so, and that's probably enough. It's reduced down enough for my liking. So it is time to serve it up. So we're gonna serve this over some spaghetti. Like I said, just give me a nice couple of quail breasts, some mushrooms, a bit of that sauce and some onions. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, it is a fairly thin sauce. If you want to thicken it up, like I said, you know, make a roux or whatever. I, I don't care. This is fine with me. It'll work just fine. And there you have it. That is my dinner for tonight. Let's give it a try real quick. I'm actually waiting on my wife to get home from work and I'm gonna eat with her, but we will give it a little bit of a try on camera just so you know that I actually eat this stuff and I don't just show it, you know, so we'll see how it is. So I'm gonna give me a little mushroom, a little bit of that spaghetti. If I can do it without making a mess, I'm not gonna be able to, am I? <laughs> yeah, there is nothing wrong with that. Mm. That's pretty good. I think I might add a little Parmesan cheese on top. Other than that, I don't think it needs a thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You got yourself a new recipe to try out with your quail. We could do this with rabbit as well. Cut it in chunks. You can do it with chicken. I mean, you can do it with a lot of things. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, God bless.